Well, hi there, everybody. I'm Chase Raz, and this is the Zillica Observer. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at um, a, an answer to a question that I get so frequently, which is how do you buy Zillica in the United States? Admittedly, it can be pretty difficult. The first place we're going to look is we'll take a look at Binance. Now, if you're going to buy Zillica through Binance, you have to buy through Binance.us if you're an American citizen. Binance is basically going to reject you from Binance.com if you're an American and they're going to usher you straight over to Binance.us. But when you're buying through Binance, there are a couple of things you want to keep in mind. First of which is that on Binance.us, KYC, know your customer, is required. You're going to have to submit your address proof of identification, right? You're going to have your driver's license or your state issued ID. You're going to have to submit that to Binance. Now, I know for a lot of you, that's automatically a disqualifier for whatever reason. But on Binance US, KYC is required. If KYC isn't a deal breaker for you, I'd still want you to be aware that KYC on Binance.us is not very fast. They have three different tiers, and on the first tier, you can tra uh, move crypto in and trade it. That may be good enough for some of you, but if you're really looking at buying Zillica with fiat, with U.S. dollars, you're going to need to go through the second and third level verification. For me, this took three weeks. Admittedly, I did it right around New Year's. I started a day or two before New Year's, so like what, December 30th, December 29th, somewhere in that time frame. And it took almost until the end of January. We were we were well through most of January before my KYC was completed. I think they're running a little bit faster, but I am still seeing, you know, two weeks being somewhat common. The other thing you'd want to know about Binance is, at least at the time of recording and for the past few months, they've been having issues where occasionally the withdraw of Zillica is turned off. You just can't withdraw your Zillica. You might want to move it into your own private wallet for staking. You might want to move it over to Zillswamp for liquidity pool purposes. And sometimes you just can't. Now, I get it that some people buy Zillica in places where they're completely custodial, you can't take off network, and that's perfectly fine for some folks. But most of us who are buying through an exchange like this, we're wanting to take off of the exchange. We want to move it into our own wallet. We want to take custody. I believe that the withdrawal issues are related to the nonce problem that uh, Zillica was having with all of their exchange partners, I believe all of the nodes, if not a substantial portion of them, sometime around late 2020, early 2021. For whatever reason, Binance is still having those issues or something very similar to those issues. It's also my understanding that the Zillica team is working with Binance to try to correct some of these. So look, Binance may or may not be an option for you, depending on what I've just presented. So let's take a look at um, their buying options really quickly before we then look at another alternative if KYC is just not something you're willing to do. When you go to buy Zillica or any currency on Binance, we're most interested in using them for fiat to crypto. So because that's going to replace or get rid of a lot of the fees, et cetera, et cetera. So we just want to go straight to the buy crypto page. And this is the beautiful part. Why so many people do use Binance for buying Zillica. It's a supported currency, right? Bitcoin's going to be set to your default and you can just search for Zill and you can directly convert your fiat into Zillica. That's pretty amazing. So while this option may not be for everybody, it is going to be for quite a few people, even with the withdrawal issue, even with the slow KYC. I think one of the things that makes Binance a leading choice, and admittedly, I don't use Binance at this time. I will be in the future. And so let me let me tell you why I think they're a leading choice and what I'm going to use them for. This is not financial advice. For some of the lower, slower acquisitions, especially for dollar cost averaging DCA, I'm going to lean in here with not looking at a one-time purchase, but looking at daily or weekly or, you know, bi-weekly here every first and 15th of the month. I really like these options. They have monthly here as well. 
I, I really like these options for dollar cost averaging. So if you're long on Zillica or another currency, this is where Binance makes sense. But keep in mind, KYC, long KYC process and known withdrawal issues. If that's not going to work for you, one of the other solutions I'd like to present is KuCoin. And KuCoin is where I'm currently doing some trades. They do not have KYC. So KYC is optional on KuCoin. But you're not going to directly buy Zillica on KuCoin. You're going to have to trade for it. Admittedly, if you went over to Binance, if you went back to Binance, rather, you could do this with only level one verification, the verification, uh, KYC verification that takes about 24 hours. You scan your ID. It's pretty much, I believe, processed by artificial intelligence, and then you're in. So as long as you're not doing massive, first of all, as long as you're not doing any fiat deposits, you're not doing massive withdrawals in cryptocurrency, and um, you just want to trade one currency to Zillica, Binance would work. Essentially, that's what I'm doing here with KuCoin, except they um, their onboarding lets you get to quite a few more resources than Binance does with the same very little uh, KYC or none. Except with KuCoin, you get more, more trading volume, more um, withdrawal ability. You just get a little bit more with a similar level of KYC or less. And then also with KuCoin, I want to point out that it may be a little bit more of an advanced solution for some folks because you have to be familiar with or learn if you're not familiar with how to use a trading dashboard. So whereas Binance was pretty straightforward and simple, how much do you want to buy? Right? How many USD, uh, how many US dollars do you want to put in or how many uh, you know, Zillica utility tokens you want to buy. With KuCoin, we have to look at a trading dashboard. And here's the trading dashboard. So if you look at this and it's overwhelming and intimidating, maybe not for you. It does look like somebody just dumped a bunch of Zill. Awesome. Thanks for doing that. I may go make a trade here in a moment. <laughs> so, um, right. You've got to be comfortable with the trading environment. If you're not comfortable with the trading environment, but you want to become, let me know, put it in the comments. Um, I could make a video on that fairly easily. Trading environments from one platform to the other tend to be quite similar. If you're coming over from stock, uh, stock investing, if you're coming over from Forex, the environments still seem to, you know, are still fairly consistent. They're pretty simple and easy to understand. With that being said, if you've never used them before, they don't look simple at all. They don't look easy. They look quite overwhelming. It's like the first time you ever opened, um, you know, Photoshop or Microsoft Excel or video editing software. The first time you open it, you're overwhelmed. You have no idea what to do. With a little bit of training, with a little bit of exposure, with a little bit of time, something like this becomes, you know, just a simple part of your life, something that's very clear and concise. So if you are looking to purchase Zillica in the United States, the two resources, again, that I would suggest are uh, taking a look at not only Binance, but also KuCoin. Other exchanges are coming pretty soon. We know that from Zillica. This video is probably going to be outdated fairly quickly, but even once other exchanges are added, Binance and KuCoin remain options for you. Anything else on top of that is just icing on the proverbial cake. All right, everybody, I hope this video helps. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Also, go over to Twitter and follow Zillica Observer at Zillica Observer. I truly hope this video helps you get a start in buying or holding Zillica. This is not financial advice. There's no reason I'm implying that you should or should not do this, but it's a question that comes up quite frequently, and I hope you now have an answer.